Guys, and yes, we're still watching Tropical Storm Fred as it's moving over the Dominican Republic and Haiti for this afternoon. Now, here's what we're hoping happens. As this storm moves over land, we're hoping that it loses just about all of its steam. So that way, by the time it reemerges into the ocean, that it's not going to have a whole lot of steam left. And it's basically going to have to start from scratch to re-intensify into that tropical storm, which will be great. So by the time it makes it to the Gulf of Mexico, it's it's not going to have quite as much uh, power as it once had. So right now it does look like the system will stay just off to the north of Cuba and then start to make its way into the Gulf of Mexico as early as about uh, Friday night into Saturday. Now when we get a closer look at the state of Florida, you can see still a pretty large area of, uh, of, of the in the cone of concern right now. So it does look like we are potentially going to be seeing that landfall near Apalachicola as we head towards Sunday and into Monday of next week. Now we're looking at our spaghetti plots here and you can see they are actually all in a pretty good agreement at least for the next about two days on where the storm system will go and then most of them do show it moving into the Gulf of Mexico and staying well off to our west. The big things you got to know right now is that uh, we're going to continue to track it as it moves over Hispaniola today and into tomorrow is that's when we'll get a little bit of a better idea on the intensity of this storm system. We are going to get some heavy rainfall between Sunday and into Monday, which is going to increase that flooding risk.